All right, so in my last Atlas comparison video, I compared the Atlas to the SEAL submarine, both modded submarines. And in this video, we're gonna be comparing the Atlas submarine to the Cyclops, which is another large submarine. Many of you probably already know because it's in the base game. So let's get to it. All right, so just like in our last video, we're gonna start with exterior appearances first. So the first and main striking difference between these two submarines is going to be the length and how long they are. So the Atlas slash Beluga submarine is not twice the size of the Cyclops, but it is a little bit, just a little bit longer. If we look back here, you know, it's a little bit longer. The tail is sticking out a little bit more and the Cyclops sort of comes up short over here. Way bigger uh, rear engine, as we can see, because the Cyclops has, they both have the same like similar rear fan, turbine, whatever the heck this thing's called, engine back here. And the Cyclops is a little bit smaller because the Atlas submarine is just a bigger submarine overall. Now, if we move to the exterior details of both these submarines, we're gonna see some differences and some similarities here. So we can see on the side of the Cyclops and next to the little bridge, we have the lights right here, which is where you know the lights are coming from on the submarine and we can see there's also one on the bottom right here even though this doesn't really look like light then a light that would shine out like this but you know it's whatever we got one two three lights on the very front of the submarine that you can all see where they're coming from if we come over to the side of the submarine we can see some more details so we have this little thing right here i'm not entirely sure what this is it kind of just looks like a little light to be or just for show uh don't know what this is it looks like a, like a little maintenance hatch or whatever so we have this little uh thing it looks like a, um almost like an intercom like you would talk out of it but i'm pretty sure it's used for something else you know it might be used for like flushing water out the submarine sports that same sort of altera look that the atlas submarine also has if we move on down we can see that there is a there's an engine on each of the sides of the submarine there's one right here and there's also one on the other side the back of the cyclops engine does have a little bit more detail to it i would say because these extra lights back here they got the nice little metallic texture for the fans and then you have the like regular base texture right here like for the main parts of the submarine at this part right here there's some lights back here it's a lot more detailed in general and in, like generally speaking on the bottom of the cyclops we can see that there is a docking bay right here and it opens and closes so you can put your seamoth or your prawn suit in this singular docking bay which is going to be a difference that we're going to look at with the atlas submarine the cyclops has a bunch of minor details you know like attention to details type stuff like this stuff i'm looking at right here we got a what does that say differential lock engage they got a bunch of these small mini hatches all over the submarine just to add some more detail they got these little lights on the side got this little black black thing right here don't know what that is it's overall super detailed and now let's look at the atlas submarine all right so moving on to the atlas submarine right here we're going to look at its exterior details and then we're going to compare it to that of the cyclops so we can already see that it does have a similar sort of lighting to the cyclops because we can see there are two um like little lights up here and i'm going to talk about a detail with them a little later on as well but we have these two giant lights right here which is where the top floodlights sort of do it out of and then on the bottom so this light being on the bottom that is a difference that both of these submarines have between each other because on the cyclops we saw that on the very bottom of the cyclops there was a tiny tiny even though it didn't look like you know like something a light would come out of it's still they still have like a little light down here on the bottom where you can see you know like the light coming out of so there's a difference there now moving on to the side of the submarine we can see that there's another similarity here so we have these little holes right here which we saw on the same side of the cyclops right next to the like bridge so similarity there we also have these same lights sort of i mean they're not exactly the same but you know they give off the same little vibe the atlas submarine also has these big old uh i don't even know what you would call these they got these big old circles circle thingy majiggies on each side and there's four of them total because there's two on this side two on the other side both these submarines have that same altera type themed color scheme with the orange white and red colors all throughout the submarine we can see it's got some orange lines blue and then it's got the white for the you know like primary color almost so that's nice atlas has some extra little details right here just like the cyclops did with like the exterior hatches all over the place so that's nice if we look at the docking bay for two of these for two of these went for both of these submarines we'll see that there's a difference as well because with the cyclops there's only one docking bay that can hold both the prawn suit or the sea moth and with with the atlas submarine it has two docking bays that can hold either like you can hold both of the vehicles so the one in the front is a little bit wider and that's because this docking bay is for the sea moth and the sea moth only you can't dock the prawn suit in this one the docking bay near the rear of the submarine back here is a little bit thinner and that's because you can only dock the prawn suit in here so you can actually carry two like vehicles in this one submarine at the same time whereas with the cyclops you can only carry one at a time but you can carry either or in that one docking bay so difference there i'm looking at another similarity here with the engines because these engines look quite similar to one another the atlas submarines engines are a little more uh 
They're a little bit different because they don't have that same like little glass on this front part like the Cyclops did. Instead, it's kind of just like open right here with these two little blue knobs or whatever. So there's that. But they do have a similar appearance, so it needs to be noted. The Atlas submarine also has these like black pill shapes on the side of the submarine just like the Cyclops did, so there's that. If we head over to the rear engine of the Atlas submarine, we'll see some differences and some similarities. So the main differences we can see is how everything is like structured sort of, because we can see that this has these like giant extra fins back here, likely because this is a bigger submarine, so you know, bigger support, bigger engine, etc. But the similarity back here is going to be the engine like itself. So we can see that both of these submarines have this sort of like, what do you even call this? Like a tail? I said tail? What? Both of these submarines have this sort of like, um, like fan type engine back here. Even though the Atlas submarines is a different color and whatnot, it's still like the fan type of engine. And the differences lie in how it looks and how everything is detailed. The Atlas submarine here does not have the same level of detail that the Cyclops had as far as like, you don't like individual spots go so everything isn't like textured differently or stuff but it does have better detail when it comes to structure and the way everything looks because there's a lot there's a lot more going on back here you know you got this giant fin up here you got this fin right here three at three small fins on the left and right hand side then you have another one on the right hand side it's a lot more going on back here as far as structure goes than the cyclops but the cyclops has more detail on a you know like on a smaller level so these both have some pretty good detail on the rear engines and some similarities as well so that's nice so we look at the top of these submarines so we got some big differences up here so we can see that there is a hatch on the top of the of the atlas slash beluga submarine on the cyclops there is no hatch over there for the top of the submarine so there's that and then the area where the conning tower is we can see that on the atlas submarine there is a little area up here that we can go into i'll show you that a little bit later and on the Cyclops, there is nothing over there. It's kind of just like, you know, a regular old area. And then we also have some differences in the conning tower because the Atlas submarine's conning tower is a little bit more slash larger than the, than the Cyclops' conning tower because we can see this front part of the Atlas submarine's conning tower is the same, of the, is the same as the Cyclops' conning tower. But if we move on to the back, we can see that there's a little bit more extra back here almost like there's like a little radar back here or something i don't even know what you would call this both have different conning towers because the atlas submarine sort of adds on to the cyclops's conning tower and the last thing that i forgot to mention about both these submarines is that there is actually riding on the side of both of these submarines that you can see so with the atlas submarine we have this it says sci vessel likely said likely means science vessel on the top of the submarine and on the cyclops while there is not anything there right now you can like customize the submarine and put like riding on the side so you can have riding on both of the both of these submarines but with the cyclops you can customize the riding and the color of that riding with the atlas submarine you cannot Alrighty, and with those exterior differences and similarities done we can now move on to the interior of our submarines and check out what is different and the same inside all right so we're going to start in the cyclops because you know base game submarine so why not so when we first enter the cyclops we enter it through the bottom through this little hatch right here and then we're immediately in this like little um we're in an airlock there we go that's the that's the name i was trying to get we're in this like little airlock there's some lights up here we can see there's just a little room and it's separated by a bulkhead door bulkheaded door so there's that let me open this door and then we are now inside of the lower deck of the cyclops right here and in this lower deck we can also access you know there's a ladder right here it'll take us up to the top area where the main part of the cyclops is but also on this lower deck, we can see that there are some lockers down here. And this this part of the lower deck is also separated by a bulkheaded door right here, leading to, you know, the other parts of the lower deck. We're not gonna look at those just yet. So let's head back to the Atlas and look at that. Here you enter the Atlas and the Cyclops in the exact same fashion. You do it through the bottom of the submarine, although the Atlas does have the option of going into the submarine through the top, so there's that. All right, so looking at the Atlas's lower deck, we can see that there is no like bulkhead separating the door, like from the hatch and stuff we kind of just like pop flop up into this little area there are two ladders leading up to the upper deck instead of just one so difference there between that and the cyclops and then this is also where the power storage is for the atlas submarine because we can see that there's these four we have these four giant cylinders here each holding four power cells each so four eight sixteen Ooh, 4, 8, 12, 16, can't count. Runs off of 16 power cells total, so that's nice. And we have these same lights up here on the roof, just like we did with the Cyclops, but there are lights on the bottom floor 
and the floor is also textured differently because the Atlas submarine's floor sort of just has like a regular look and the Cyclops sort of has like a um, more detailed look that you would see on a part of the ship that'd be like super wet or something, you know, a bunch of drains and stuff for everything to drain out. And another big difference is the fact that when you enter this lower deck, you also have a giant window that you can look out of. And this lower deck is also right below the bridge, which is a similarity between both the Cyclops and the Atlas submarine. Both their lower decks, when you first enter, are right underneath the bridge. But this one in the Atlas actually has like this giant window down here that you can look out and see stuff from. So that's a nice little difference right there. Uh, I think that's everything down here. So let's head back on to the Cyclops. All right, so now we're gonna move to the upper deck of the Cyclops and the Atlas submarine. So to get to the upper deck of the Cyclops, you can do it in two ways. You can go up this ladder or you can go all the way to the back and go up that ladder back there. So in total, there's two ladders for the Cyclops that you can enter the upper deck from. So we're just gonna head up here. And with the Cyclops, the upper deck leads straight to the bridge. It doesn't put you in like the middle of the submarine or anything. You're right on the bridge where you can see everything. And I guess since we're here, we'll compare their bridges as well. So we can see that the Cyclops' bridge is super, super detailed. We have all this techie stuff on the wall, sort of like telling us, I don't know what planet we're on. I don't know what the freak that is. We can also control the interior lights right here. We can turn the interior lighting on and off. We can turn the floodlights on and off. To the left, we can see there is a big old hollow hologram of our Cyclops. It'll show us where there's any specific damage on the outside. And it also shows the health of the Cyclops. So that's also nice. Got this little terminal it's attached to. So that's super cool as well. And has sort of like this little radar right here that's pinging, you know, like if there's any creatures nearby or anything. And then if we get in the driver's seat, we can see, you know, shows the depth and stuff at the top. 100, it's got this nice little interface, health of the submarine, noise in the bottom left. And then we turn the engine on by looking up to our left, the top left, and then just clicking up there. And that's how we turn that engine on. And then we can see there is a little built-in compass right there. Also nice details. If we look to the right, we can see that we can customize the Cyclops even further because we can see we can change the name of the submarine by clicking here. That's what I was talking about earlier. So we can change the name of the Cyclops on the right hand side. We can also change the base color for the submarine. You know, the Cyclops bridge sort of has like an area that you can step up onto. And then there's like this railing to keep you from falling off and the glass is a little bit smaller but it's still like it still gives you a pretty decent view of what's around you so you know like where you're going and whatnot that's some nice details on the wall we have these lights up here two giant lights at the top and then we have these side lights the bridge is also separated by this big old bulkhead door right here so there's also that and with that let's move to the atlas's bridge and compare it to all right moving on to the atlas submarine and its bridge whenever we go up from the lower deck it'll go it'll just take you straight up like so boom and now we're right next to the bridge we're not exactly in the bridge so the atlas submarines bridge is a lot bigger than the cyclops's bridge overall when we look to the right we can see that we have a big old hologram of the atlas submarine right here i guess and it'll show us you know just like the cyclops where there's damage and whatnot we can also control the interior and exterior lights like we could with the cyclops so there's a similarity there the atlas submarine also has these big old line lights up here so there's a similarity there but it does not have these circular lights like the two giant circular lights or any circular lights at all up here like these Cyclops does so difference there the way the glass looks is also like one of the biggest differences between these two bridges because the Atlas submarine has a lot wider view I would say there's a lot more you can look at aside from like whenever you go up to the seat right here you can look to the left look to the right but if you're not in the seat you can still like head back here look to the left and look out this window look down I believe the textures of the floor are sort of similar to that of the Cyclops's bridge floor so if that is then I'll count that as a similarity other and another major difference is there is no door separating the bridge from everything else you know it's kind of just open right here so there's that and the way you start the engine is going to be uniquely different as well because instead of doing it from the driver's seat you're going to head over to the left and you're going to see these three engine modes right here we have eco normal and ime and then we have the toggle engine power right here as long as as well as some other settings but we'll get to that a little later all right so next we're going to compare the main slash general areas of both of these submarines and we're going to start with the cyclops so to get to the general area of the cyclops we're just going to open this door right here into the bridge or not into the bridge from the bridge and we're going to step through and then we're going to see if we look up we have those that we again have those circular lights and the lined lights and then we have this small room right here that we can build some stuff in so there's that now there is a little doorway right here leading into this other room however there's no like actual door 
in between this doorway and you can't put one here either so it's kind of just like a little archway and then when you come into this room you'll see that this is where you can find your you know like your docked vehicle right here and there's the area down there that you can head into like that sits underneath your docked vehicle if you want to walk down there you can do that as well we have this little panel slash terminal right here that shows you what vehicle you have docked you know you can mess with the upgrades all that good stuff got this tiny little railing right here line lights circular lights and then if we head to the back of this little area we can see that there is a decoy launcher right here that you can load up but the engine room for the cyclops is also separated by these bulkhead doors so that's nice too and if we head down to the lower areas to the guts of the submarine we already covered this little area right here but if we open this area we can head down here and we, you know this is our little launch bay i don't think you can build anything in here because this door opens and closes but still nice to be able to walk in here regardless and if we look up we can see that you know everything is separated by that nice little glass there's a hatch right there for whatever vehicle you have docked in the cyclops so you can get in and out of it and then we also have these like little magnetic things that'll hold your vehicle in place the dock vehicle in place there's also some nice lights down here super super detailed looking area right here but yeah that's the interior the general interior of the cyclops now let's move to the atlas submarine all right so moving to the general interior of the atlas submarine we can see that they both have a sort of they both have a sort of similar like layout in a way so with the bridge on the cyclops we saw that it was separated by a giant bulkhead door on the atlas submarine there is no bulkhead door here it's just like a big old arch so you can just walk through but the similarity here is the walls on the sides of the atlas submarine and the cyclops because these look similar i am pretty sure when we walk through we're in this big old area right here now the atlas submarines area main difference here is they have a there's a lot more room and space that you can walk around in in here a lot more area to build things and whatnot so we got our ladders right here the same similar floor um floor patterns and textures and then we have the seamoth docking area right here with those same little magnetic grips right there that the cyclops had although there's not nearly as many it's still a similarity nonetheless and then there's the hatch right here you can't open and close this hatch though like you can on the cyclops you can only just like enter and exit through that hatch so there's that on the cyclops we saw that with the ceiling lights there was definitely more like circular ones again all throughout the top of the submarine this one mainly has the lined lights so there's that and then this submarine also has this extra area right here which is sort of similar to the area that separates the cyclops's bridge and the main area but it's sort of on the atlas this area is towards the back not only is this area larger there's also two other other things with this area so if we look up we can see that there's a hatch right here that you can head up so if we head up this hatch it'll put us in this nice little area slash room up here the cyclops does not have this extra room up here and if we look at the ladders in this area they do not lead to the front of the submarine but rather whenever we head down these ladders right here it'll take us to this little area right here which is like an extra storage area it almost looks like a airplane cargo slash luggage area so yeah big old area right here and it's in a different spot than on the cyclops so there's a big difference there and then if we head over to the area that the prawn suit is docked two main differences one there's two separate docking bays for your prawn suit and your seamoth so you can dock both of them in this vehicle at the same time you can modify them both now another difference that i did not point out that i'm just not realizing is one with the seamoth bay we cannot see there's we can't see that there's any glass right here we just kind of have to assume because we can walk over it and stuff and two there's also no upgrade console mini upgrade console that like sits right next to the docking areas and then we have the hatch up here that leads to the outside of the submarine which is where you can enter and exit you know and that about covers all the general areas of those submarines now let's look at their engine room starting with the cyclops we can see that the engine room is sealed off by these bulkhead doors right here and there's also a bulkhead door underneath that i'll show you in a second but we can see that you know bulkhead doors right here and there's two different sides to this engine so the cyclops runs off of six power cells total and we can see this big old monstrous engine right here and super super large it has a bunch of different parts that we can see parts of the engine then we have a second part of the engine right here and then we can also see that there's some lights extra pipes up here there's a fire extinguisher back here as well but yeah on the right side of the submarine we can see this is our upgrades we can see the health of the submarine energy and then if we go over to the left hand side it's a little bit different because this is our cyclops upgrade fabricator where we actually craft the upgrades for the cyclops we can see that there's these nice little pipes up here there's another part of the cyclops engine room as we can see there's 
there's a whole mess of pipes down here and wires and all sorts of industrial -ish stuff that just looks amazing sitting underneath all this which is why i count this area as like the second engine room because this sort of just looks like the guts of the submarine now when turning on the cyclops engine there are some extra details that we can see here so whenever you turn the cyclops engine on and you know your submarine's in motion and whatnot the engine will actually move as we can see it's doing right now the speed that the engine is turning at right now changes depending on what speed you're you have your submarine set to so i'm currently set to the lowest setting right now which is why the engine isn't moving so fast yep we can see it's spinning okay that's not a, that's not even a little bit that's a lot faster and we can see it's almost it's it's moving so fast that it's actually become kind of blurry to us so that's a nice nice little detail there we can't walk into it or anything and that's the engine room of the cyclops so now let's go look at the engine room of the atlas submarine all right so heading to the engine room of the atlas submarine we can see that it is that the engine room is not closed off by bulkheads or anything it's kind of just open right here with this archway so we can just sort of walk in the floor of the atlas's engine room is a little bit different than the cyclops but not too different because these little grates right here are pretty similar to the ones that are in the cyclops but the extra detail here is these little um like the little caution tape looking things right here that's not in the cyclops that's a nice little different detail here it also has those same lights all over the walls like it does in the cyclops and the size of these engine rooms is one of the is going to be one of the biggest differences as well because you know the cyclops engine room is a lot the cyclops engine room is a little more longer and narrow in structure and then this one's a little more wide and open you can walk around and stuff and we can see there's two upgrade panels on the left and right hand side but there is no upgrade fabricator in this part of this atlas i was about to say cyclops and the engine itself also looks pretty different and the way it's you know held in here is also different as well so we can see small railings on the left and right hand side of the atlas's engine you know they're both orange black thingies right there and then the engine itself is completely different than the cyclops's engine because this one actually glows has a nice little blue color in the background and it sort of sits in its own like little technological room or like industrial type industrial looking room i don't really know how to describe some of these things to be honest i'm kind of just winging it yeah engine looks entirely different and just like the Cyclops, this engine also spins whenever you turn it on. So let's look at that as well. So looking at the Atlas engine, we can see that it spins just like the Cyclops engine does, but it's also spinning pretty fast. So I'm not entirely sure if it spins at different speeds, but we're gonna test it anyways. But whenever the engine is on, another neat detail as well that's different than the Cyclops is on the back. We can see that there's these little, it's like those little thingies on the back that are sort of like drawing electricity from the engine or whatever they're doing, they're on the back of the engine. So after testing it and looking around, it looks like the Atlas's engine spins at the same speed no matter what, no matter what engine setting you're set to. So that's the difference there. So there's another small detail regarding the exterior of both of these submarines that I forgot to mention. But whenever you turn the power off for the Cyclops or you turn the lights off for the Cyclops, the exterior lights they don't change like these parts right here they don't really change at all but if we head over to the atlas submarine we can see that these two lights at the top they're on right now and they are glowing blue but if we turn the submarine off so when you turn both of the lightings off for this atlas submarine and you head over to the top of these lights we will see that these lights have actually dimmed now so that's a nice tiny little attention to detail and the atlas instead of going instead of coming with a decoy tube for an upgrade it comes with a automatic shield like shield generating module that you have so if we turn this on it'll turn the entire glass of the submarine blue and we are now protected by a shield so super super awesome and then the last thing we need to look at is going to be the agility mode it's going to allow you to be a lot more t agile as you would imagine with your submarine so instead of using your wasd to control the submarine now when you have the agility mode on you use their mouse to control it which will allow you to point the submarine in virtually any direction you want which would also allow you to squeeze through like super tight areas so like let's say you need to go downward into the lost river or something and you know descending your submarine in a horizontal way would not allow you to do so you can turn the agility mode on and face your entire submarine down and make it go down vertical which can allow you to fit through you know a lot more tighter spaces that you wouldn't be able to before since you don't really have this sort of freedom whenever you're using any other submarine. And that is the Beluga and Atlas submarine compared entirely. Both super, super awesome submarines. One's a base game submarine and the other one is a modded submarine that still has you know, a pretty good amount of detail to match that of a base game submarine made by the actual devs of Subnautica. So excellent work on their part. The last, last thing I want to compare is their explosion animations because the Beluga submarine is actually one of the few one of the few modded submarines that actually has its own explosion animation. So first, let's look at the Cyclopses. There we go. And the Cyclops is just going to blow up like that. And boom. 
I mean, you can see the Cyclops retains any of the custom colors that you had on it before. The glass on the front breaks, the lights shut off, and all that good stuff. We can see that there's some visible damage to the exterior. The part of the docking bay got blown up as well. Engine on the, what is that, the left? Yeah, engine on the left side got destroyed and the rear engine of the entire Cyclops got completely blown off. So we can see that the Beluga submarine, it takes a little bit to actually blow up. So the inside of the submarine is red, just like the Cyclops would be. Although I do not think there's any alarm that plays in the inside. And we can also see that the submarine is starting to sort of tip over. So that's a nice little detail as well. And it's just gonna slowly, we're just gonna wait for the explosion now at this point. <laughs> But anyways, it drops a bunch of metal salvage just like the Cyclops does. Actual damage from the submarine, we can see that, you know, the glass is all broken and whatnot. Back engine right here was blown off. So yeah, two really awesome submarines. One's a base game submarine, the other one's modded. With that, that is about all I have for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.